So, um, <laughs> we're just talking about how people are literally telling on themselves in songs. Uh, <laughs> we're listening to uh, Who I Smoke, Rap Snitch Knishes from MF Doom. Uh, and also talking about how people's songs get used against them in court. You know, Casanova's interviews got used against him to deny him bail. Damn. Oh, for real? Yeah, man. Did he say I was gonna run? Or like, do nah? They were just like using his uh, his case is like a Rico charge. Training. His case is like a Rico charge, um, claiming that he's a, a a gang member. Okay. And he had an interview where he was like. Yeah, I'm, I'm eight. I'm still eight. And that's in, like the name of the game is like Gorilla Stone. And um, so they used that as a means of him saying like uh, when he applied for bail, uh, he said, I'm no longer a part of a gang. You know, I'm like, I'm trying to get my life in yeah. order. And they're like, but in this interview, you said you're still eight. What is this? Deny that bail. Uh, and they used it against him. So like people are people tell on themselves often and i feel like people go into these these like recording sessions and interviews where they just treat their 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 lives and their um their public facing personas as though they exist in this vacuum but in reality you're publishing shit I've literally had people hit me up on like Twitter and Facebook trying to sell me drugs and I don't even respond to them niggas because I don't know what this nigga is on. You so fucking sloppy that you over here saying your prices and like where you are and all this other shit. Like the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Don't talk to me. Prank call. Prank call. <laughs> exactly. It also doesn't sound like that's correlated with it, with it, with with inequality. Huh? Like, I bet their shit isn't that good if they're... I mean, I don't give a shit if anyway. it's the best shit ever. If you're selling uh, it on Facebook, oh, yeah, <laughs> publishing your prices, uh -huh. what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't want to be that close to anybody that's looking at you. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, but I feel like at the same time, you could say some wild shit in a book and it not be... It's supposed to be different than the artist. Like, So what is the difference in like a verse and I mean like... Be like, no, that was just a person. Like Hulk Hogan was talking about, like, no, I said that shit as Hulk Hogan. Like, I don't have a, a, a however, like, I'm Terry, speed. and that was Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I was trying know. to be like, that was oh, clearly that's... a piece of shit. That's who Hulk Hogan is, and I'm not like I'm me, and that's like so the rap, like, you know what oh, I mean? That's like the biz That's I think he was talking about a business, like the business side of something, and then himself. Like, yeah. I mean, but I mean, but, but you as an alter ego, I mean, you as an artist and what you rap about isn't necessarily supposed to be taken word for word about what, like, okay, like so the record I you just put out, you. Rush, Rush with Drugs, you're not talking about, like, you literally would do any of that, you did any of that. Yes. But it's not connected to a real event. So be like, okay, that actually, like, we, this dude's dead, and you talked about this thing. And I would Clearly, say that is the difference, is that yeah. you have, like, a lot of rap that, like, professes to be about real events, or professes to be, like, a recounting uh, rather than a an imagined thing, and because of that, you end up with uh, a lot of people doing incriminating shit. It's like Doom said, rap snitches telling all their business, get them in court. They be their own star witness. Do you see the mm -hmm. perpetrator? Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> Fuck around, get the whole label sent up for years, and it's it's ultimately that people are telling on themselves by recounting things that maybe they shouldn't be recounting. I'd say a good example of somebody that did it right, um, a couple of good examples, rather, 50 Cent and Jeezy. I know we bought up 50 Cent earlier in the song Ghetto Quran, yeah. which was not a good example of <laughs> not giving details. <laughs> but um, do you know this 50 Cent doesn't have a bunch of court cases and isn't getting jammed up for illegal shit? Right, yeah. and that's because he took the precautions to make sure that he didn't go into He's certain talking about details. Shit he, being a lot of detail about shit he knew that he probably shouldn't be broadcasting that pissed off some people, right? But not shit he actually did that would put him behind bars. Well, I mean, maybe, but, but he, not that ever led. I think to he a learned charge. a lesson after that. After that situation, like flew a little too close to the sun. I don't like yeah. to show back here. Like, and then like Jeezy. <laughs> He waited until like the statute of limitations was up to talk about certain shit. I always like the day after. 
No, really. <laughs> he has an album, I think, uh, nah, shit. What is It's crazy. You talk to a lawyer, but like, okay, so if the album was recover- recorded before the statute of limitations is up, does it work the same as if it was dropped after the, you know what I mean? No, there like, there was like, like I can't remember which I album it was. I like the legality was. of. I can't remember which album it was. Can you please look this up? Yeah. Uh, Jeezy literally made an album where he was able to like talk about shit in more detail after the statute of limitations ran out. Like literally. <laughs> That's why I'm like citing him as a as an example of the correct way to do shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> G- Young Jeezy reveals new album, The Statue of Limitations. Wait, so I think it's called that. It can't it's be. over with. Wait. That was like a way that he like advertised the album. He was like, yeah, I get to talk about more shit because no, of Statue it, of Limitations. It, Atlanta rap, rap veteran Young Jeezy is set to return with brand new album. The Statue of Limitations is over with. That's not the title. It is not. I'm positive. I mean, it says... Okay, hold on. I'm positive that's not the title. I'm about to look up this nigga's discography. <laughs> it says it all like... What year? What year is okay, this? Okay, hold on, hold on. What side are you on, Evan? No, but it's... It's called Pack Duck. Well, Fact Pack Duck. That's reading. Fucked up. All right, 2013. 13. 2013. Okay. So in 13, it was uh, Seen It All, the autobiography. Okay. That's the album. <laughs> the fuck? I think it was on some kind of, like... You didn't have to add him. You want man. something done, you feel what I'm saying? If you want something done. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, that song Seen It All is one of the hardest songs I've ever heard in my life. Is that the one with Jay? With Jay. <laughs> No, I think that because I said statute of limitations, it actually brought that into the the, the that joint. Yeah, whatever. that shit is so hard. Man, I don't see the dog. <laughs> that shit is hard as fuck. You ever listen to that shit? It like gets progressively louder. You just turn that shit up. You just feel invincible. You just feel like you could punch an elephant in the face. Oh, uh, you could try that. My nigga, I'm gonna You're punch saying. an elephant. I'm gonna All play right. that shit and punch. No, it. apparently All they right. were gonna the call it that. Face. All right, wait. Look at him. He's trying to make his shit correct. No, I'm correct. dead serious. Like they actually <laughs> no, they, they, they were going to call it. They, okay, so hard. so now tiny mixtape. Continue in 2000. to try, bro. Not tiny mixtape. <laughs> no, what is that? What kind of site is that? Tiny, this is just based on not tiny so, mixtape. <laughs> no, Young Jeezy announces new album. The statute of limitations is Bro, over I with. Literally... And it quickly announces <laughs> that it's not a typo. I literally already provided the answer. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> in 2013, before it was out, I think that they literally had thought it was called yeah. the statute of limitations is over yeah, maybe with. They thought, maybe they thought that. They, they mm. might have thought that, motherfucker. It was seen I, okay, it all. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> seen it all the autobiography i know now it now it's that called seen it all. Title. <laughs> okay in layman's terms evan don't no. pay no don't pay him no money he, no, he's, 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 he's a rude he's a rude guy <laughs> <laughs> he's a very rude guy he told me I the other day okay so let's dog. see real quick let's see real quick they called it I even oh, thought about calling him before I pulled up. And then I was like, <laughs> I can't call him. He's not going to pick up. I just texted him and he replied oh, fast. <laughs> I would not have picked up. You right. 